Hi everyone, and welcome to how to add a grain effect in Photoshop. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to add this effect to any photo or image using smart filters. We're going to be using this particular photo from 2020.com, and you'll find a link to the photo in the description below. Once you've opened up your photo in Photoshop, the next thing you need to do is to create a new layer. Now we want to open up the dialog box for this. So let's go over to layer at the top here, new and open up layer. And over here in this dialog box, let's go ahead and change some of these options. So the name of this, we can change this to film grain. And then the mode here, we want to change this to overlay. And let's fill the overlay with a gray neutral color, like so. Check that box and then click OK. And now you'll see we've got this new film grain layer in our layers panel. The next thing we want to do is we want to convert this into a smart object. Let's go ahead and bring the layers panel out here so you can see the menu. So in order to convert this into a smart object, we need to select the layer that we want to convert. Go over here to the top right hand corner of the layers panel and click on the menu button. Once you've done that, we're going to scroll all the way down here until we can find convert to smart object. Select that. And you'll see that now our layer has this little icon on the bottom right over here. Now this indicates that our layer has now been converted into a smart object, which means that any filters and effects that we add to this layer will be fully editable, which I'll show you later on in the tutorial. So let's go ahead and put this layers back here like so. And now we want to create our film overlay. So to do this, we want to select our film grain. And let's go over to filter, go over to noise, and add noise. And you'll see here straight away if we've got the preview option open, that the noise has been applied to our photograph. And if we go ahead and increase the amount like so, you can see how that affects the texture and the look of our photo. So play about with the amount uh, to see what sort of texture effect you want for your photograph. We're just going to go ahead and input a value of 10% for the amount like so. And then we're going to use a distribution of Gaussian and then just go ahead and check monochromatic here as well. Once you're happy with the way that your noise looks, let's go ahead and click OK to apply that. And you'll see straight away that under our film grain layer, our smart filters have started to show up. So now we've got add noise here. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of a blur effect onto our noise just to soften our film grain up a little bit. So again, make sure that film grain layer is selected and then go over to filter, blur, and then select Gaussian blur. And then we're going to add a radius of 0 0.5. Again, you can play about with this slider to see how it looks. And then once you're happy with the look of the effect, click OK. And again, you'll see here we've got Gaussian blur and add noise. Excellent. So that's how you add the film grain effect to a photograph. You can go ahead and zoom into a photo here as well to see how this affects the look of our photograph. So let's uncheck our film grain layer and then with the film grain layer on. Excellent. And then if you want to edit the look of your film grain, because we've got a smart object here, all we have to do is select either the Gaussian blur or the add noise filter here. So just double click on one of these and the dialog box will open up again. So now, even though we've got the Gaussian blur and the noise applied to this layer, we can actually go ahead 
and edit them like so. So we can increase the blur if we wanted and we can also do the same with the noise as well. So if you wanted to increase the noise or decrease it, we can do so. Excellent. So there you have it. How to add a film grain effect to your photograph and also how to edit those effects after you've applied it to a layer. I hope you've had fun with this tutorial and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.